Chill was a reality series on BET that followed the lives of students attending different historical black colleges. The show premiered in 2004 and ran for six seasons until 2009. Each season, eight students lived under one roof while attending the same college, and this often led to tension and drama. The reality series caused an uproar at all the college locations because of the negative imagery of black kids in college. College Hill season four was my personal fave, not just because of the drama, but because it was filmed in my place of birth, the Virgin Islands. They shot season four on the island of St. Thomas as the housemates attended University of the Virgin Islands. Season four premiered on March 6, 2007, and the cast consisted of four Caribbean students and four students from the States. Here's what happened to the cast of College Hill Virgin Islands. Fallon is from Inglewood, Los Angeles, and was a communications major. She was generally cool with everyone in the house, but she experienced culture shock and would sometimes make negative comments about life on the island. That's is at the bottom, the bottom of the barrel. The barrel. Doesn't he know what Abercrombie is? America Eagle. Our entirely too short, yeah. And we gotta wait for this calypso. This is chaotic. Like, who would want to do this? Krista be making her little comments. Fallon be making her comments too, thinking of people in here in her ass. After the show, she returned home to LA and was doing real estate at some point. In 2014, she admitted that she regrets how ignorant, insensitive, and uneducated she was when she was on the show. Fallon is now pursuing a career in music, and you can hear her songs on iTunes or here on YouTube. Little bit older would have took him to my prom. Pretty boy. Used to stay up on that website. JT is the youngest of his housemates at just 20 years old. He was an aspiring rapper from LA, and during his time in the house, he was mostly cool with his roommates, but always mocked the island kids' accents. <laughs> What you acting crazy for, man? Men can't get a kiss. Just take a grip, man. Where you going, man? We eat. Y'all don't want to hear me, man. Y'all don't want to hear me, man. Y'all not trying to hear me, man. He also had a fling with housemate Aidesha, although he had a girlfriend back home in Cali. I'm trying to be as faithful as I can in my relationship with my girlfriend, but every time Aidesha talks to me, I don't know what to do. It's like, man, temptation is constantly calling me back and forth. <laughs> In terms of romance, I don't really know what will happen. I can't, I'm not really looking for relationships, so I'm pretty much going with the flow. I'm trying not to have too many expectations. After the show, he returned home, started a production company named Writer for Life Films, and started writing screenplays and directing films. He had also made TV appearances on other reality shows, such as MTV's Pimp My Ride and MTV's Yo Mama. In 2008, he filmed and starred in his first feature film, Death by Association, and produced the soundtrack by himself. In 2012, he hosted and produced a TV show based in Atlanta titled The VIP Hideaway. Since then, he's written, produced, and starred in the independent films Hands Up, Don't Shoot, Frank Blue, and Ujima's Village. JT is now a father of two. Willie was a 22-year-old senior who was raised in St. Louis but lived in LA. He was an international business and marketing student and was the comedian in the house. After College Hill, he graduated from American Intercontinental University. He started working as an actor and appeared in commercials for a number of companies like McDonald's, Taco Bell, and Honda. 
He had roles in CSI, Meet the Spartans, and The Greatest Song. Willie also invested in real estate and has continued to do stand-up comedy over the years. Crystal was 23 years old from Orange County, California, and majored in broadcast communications. Crystal had a hard time adjusting to island culture and complained and often made insensitive comments about it. People wear like shack shoes. The girls wear like cheap kind of clothes where they just kind of like fall off. They ain't got no cute gap sweaters. Probably don't know what gap is. She just kept going on, just talking, talking, talking. <laughs> <laughs> talk, don't you get tired of talking? Everything was a nag, a nag, a nag. Crystal's real annoying. <laughs> Let me just put it like that. Everybody is tired of hearing your f***ing mouth. Sleeping. Crystal, she complains a lot, and she's always making those smart comments about, you know, my culture and, you know, where I'm from, and it's not cool. Boom! They crazy on island. We all had it up to there with Crystal. Look, I'm ready to go home. Oh, Everything that Crystal does is holy and perfect. And need to tank before you speak. That's just not who I am. Well, then you calling me ignorant. Oh, I want to go home. Her attitude caused a lot of conflict in the house, and she was the most annoying and the most hated one in the house. One incident eventually turned violent between her and her housemate from St. Croix, Vanessa. The episode of the fight, titled Stiletto Beatdown, was the most watched episode of the franchise and the most watched original series telecast in BET history, with over 2.2 million viewers. After College Hill, Crystal obtained an MBA at California Baptist University. She now lives in Boston, Massachusetts, and announced in January of 2020 that she is expecting her first child with her significant other. As for the rest of the cast of College Hill Virgin Islands, which all happens to be all the island kids, they all live their lives privately because that's just how Caribbean people are. Vanessa was a psychology student from St. Croix and she was kicked off the show after her fight with Crystal. The rest of the housemates were still cool with her, however, and continued to hang out with her and bring her around. After the show, she relocated to Florida and is a mother of three. Vanessa also has a personal blog where she publishes her poetry. Devon, who went by Chiki, was a sophomore business administration student and athlete from St. Thomas. He played basketball, softball, and volleyball. He refused to water down his accent so that his American housemates could understand him. And most of the time, producers had to use subtitles for him. After the show, Chiki joined the Navy. Aidesha was a 21-year-old from St. Kitts, but grew up in St. Thomas. She was a bio major and had a thing for JT. She now lives in New York and has two children. Andres was a freshman from St. Croix, but spent part of his life in the States. He spent most of his time on the show hating Crystal. I don't, I, I got a lot of to say. Can we call out you? Say it one more time. Just say it one more time. White skin. Okay, White did it make skin. any more impact White than it did the first time? White skin. Shut up. He now lives his life privately and is somewhere minding his business, I'm sure. According to DiverseEducation.com, Alumni of the University of the Virgin Islands and parents sent emails and called the university. Radio shows ear discontent over the way the students portrayed themselves. Members of the university's board of trustees expressed their outrage over the cast members' behavior and distanced themselves from the decision to allow the school to be filmed at UVI. They advised President Laverne Raxter to apologize to both the university and Virgin Islands communities, which she did in full-page advertisements in the Virgin Islands Daily News and the St. Croix Avis. Despite all the mess, College Hill Virgin Islands was the highest rated season of the series. The show brought in its highest ever number of viewers. Which season was your favorite of College Hill? I will be doing update videos on the memorable seasons of College Hill, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to Black Femininity TV for more content.